In this video, I would like to introduce you to first order linear differential equations, walk through a couple of examples, and kind of explain how they work. So our first example is y prime minus 2y equals 6, and you'll notice this is a differential equation because it includes y as a function and one of its derivatives. So we consider this equation first order because the highest derivative we see is the first derivative. Also, we consider this linear because it can be written in the form y prime plus p of x y equals q of x. All right, well, p of x and q of x are just functions in x, and the y prime notice is by itself. So it looks like the equation that we're given here in the first example is already written in this linear form. So the p of x function is going to be the negative 2, and the 6 right here is going to be our q of x. Okay, well we've got this kind of expression over here, this r of x, we're going to call this the integrating factor, and it's going to be e to the power of the integral of p of x dx. So this p of x function, whatever function in x is with the y, is going to be important, because we're going to have to integrate that, and then put it as a power of e. So let's go ahead and do that. So negative 2 was our p of x, and we're going to integrate that with respect to x. So when I integrate negative 2 with respect to x, I'm just going to get negative 2x. So our integrating factor, this r of x, is going to equal e to the negative 2x. Well, what is it that we're going to do with that? Well, we're going to go ahead and take our differential equation, and we're going to multiply through by this integrating factor. I'm going to show you here in a second why we would do that. So every single term here is going to get multiplied by this e to the negative 2x. So my equation now looks like e to the negative 2xy prime minus 2 e to the negative 2xy equals 6 e to the negative 2x. On this left side, this is going to be really important, and the reason we use this integrating factor is because we kind of have the product rule going on here. So we have the function e to the negative 2x, and you'll notice its derivative is negative 2 e to the negative 2x, and then we have y with its derivative y prime. So you can see this is in the form of the product rule. So to integrate this would just be this function along with our y. So we can write e to the negative 2x times y, and that will equal then the integral of our right side, 6 e to the negative 2x dx. Okay, so to take this integral, we can go ahead and use a little quick u substitution if you'd like, and we can just use negative 2x. So du equals negative 2 dx, and then dx will be du over negative 2. So, the 6 you could bring out front if you wanted to as a constant. So this would be e to the u times du over negative 2, which of course could cancel here and make this a negative 3. So we have negative 3 times the integral of e to the u du, which, of course, the integral of e to the u is just e to the u, so we'll have our negative 3 e to the u, and u was negative 2x, so we'll go ahead and slip that back in, plus c. And then, of course, this left side came all the way down, e to the negative 2x times y. Okay, so we have integrated both sides of our equation, and this is what we're left with, so we'd like to solve for y here to put it in explicit form. So we're going to divide everything by e to the negative 2x. On the left side, notice the e to the negative 2x is just cancel. And also we have the term right here where it does the same. So y will equal negative 3 plus, and in the denominator here we kind of have the negative exponent, so we'll move it to the numerator to write it as a positive exponent. So here will be the solution of this first example, the first order linear differential equation. 
And the way we went ahead and did that recall was that we had to make sure that it was in linear form. Then we grabbed the function p of x, which I included in the integrating factor. I multiplied the entire equation by that integrating factor. And the reason we do that is because it makes this left side of the equation into the product rule. So when I integrate that, it's actually quite easy. And then I just have to worry about integrating the right side by itself. So whatever rules you have to use, u substitution, integration by parts, whatever. And then I'm going to work through and solve for y. In this case, I was not given an initial condition, so I was not able to find a particular solution, so I just had to leave it as a general solution with my C right there. So that's the first example. So here in the second example that I'd like to present to you, uh, our differential equation is not quite written in linear form, but we do see that it is first order because the highest derivative is the first derivative. So in order to get this y prime by itself, I'm going to go ahead and divide every term by x to begin with. And so the x's there do cancel. So I have y prime plus 1 over xy equals 6x. Okay, so now it's written in linear form. And of course, our p of x function is this 1 over x, which is being multiplied by the y. And then our q of x is going to be just this 6x. Okay, so the first big thing I have to do is go ahead and determine what my integrating factor is. So r of x equals e to the power of the integral of p of x, which is 1 over x dx. And this integral right there is pretty straightforward. The integral of 1 over x with respect to x is just the ln of x. So I'm going to write it this way. And this is also nice because we have e to the power of a natural log. So those are inverses of one another. So what we're left with for our integrating factor is just x. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to take our equation, and we're going to multiply it through by x. So that x will be distributed to every term. So I have xy prime plus... And then x times 1 over x is just 1. So it'll just be y. And that'll be 6x squared. Well, as we talked about in the previous example, we do this integrating factor because it causes the left side of this to be uh, a derivative using the product rule. So when we need to integrate both sides, we have x, which is our function, and y, which is our function. And then the derivative of y is our y prime and the derivative of x is 1. So we're actually just going to write xy equals, and then it's the integral of the right side, so 6x squared with respect to x. Okay, well this is a pretty straightforward integral, so I'll have xy equals, we'll add 1 to the power, so 3, and then divide by that. So 2x cubed plus c is that integral. So to get y all by itself, we can divide everything by x, so those cancel. And y, it looks like, is going to equal 2x squared plus c over x. And here, once again, is a general solution, because I was not given an initial condition, so I cannot solve for c. So this is as good as we can do on these examples. So this one was the original equation we made sure it was written in linear form. We went ahead and got our um, integrating factor, and then we multiplied through, and then integrated both sides to get our general solution here. So that's kind of a, a short introduction to solving first order linear differential equations.